So now what we need to do is that we need to work on the next section. And in the next section, I'm going to display the shoes. Therefore, uh, the section is going to be similar to the clothes. Therefore, I'm going to copy the clothes here. And then I'm going to create here a new section. Here I'm going to say shoes. And then I'm going to paste the code. However, however, there will be things, there will be a few things different. First, I'm going to here uh, say instead of uh, dresses and uh, cards, I'm going to say here shoes. And then here, I'm going to say here you can check out our amazing shoes. And uh, here, the images we have here, the uh, clothes Im images, we need to replace these images with the shoes. So I have these images, I have these images, so I'm going to add them to my project. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag these four images, one, and I'm going to drop uh, drop them on the onto the image. So we have these four images. We have these four images, and uh, let me now. Let me save, let me click here on file and then save all and let's test that in the browser. So in the browser now if I refresh we should have a new section uh, shoes and here we have a problem. The problem is that I need to change the name of the images so here in the shoes we need to say here shoes 1 and here shoes 2 and then, and then here, shoes three, and then finally, shoes four. Now let me save and uh, test one more time. And now, as you can see, we will have the shoes being displayed here, uh, and uh, they look amazing. So now that we are done with this section, the next section is going to be for watches. So what I'm going to do is that again I'm going to copy the same exact code because the code is going to be similar. I'm going to copy this code and then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to here say uh, wa uh, watches here. Let me first close this. And let me kind of shift this because I want everything to be organized. Here I'm going to say watches. And then for this watches section First, we need to change the ID, so the ID here is going to be watches. And uh, by the way, the ID for the shoes here, it must be shoes. The ID here must be shoes. Here the ID is watches. And then here I'm going to say, I'm going to say for the watches, I'm going to say best watches. And I'm going to change the text here. And um, lastly, I'm going to add the uh, watches. So I have here, again, I have these images, four images. I'm going to drag them and drop them onto the images folder. So I'm going to drag these four images here, one, and then I'm going to drop them, one, two, three, and four. And make sure that you are adding them into the images folder. Make sure that they have uh, been added to the uh, images folder. Finally, we need to change the names here of the images. So, in order to do that, we just need here to say uh, for the image for the watches section, we need to say uh, watch one and then watch two and then watch three and watch four watch four and let me save and let's test so now we should have the all of the watches so as you can see we have here uh, all of these watches however I think this image is too large therefore I'm gonna replace this image with the with one of the images that I already have so let's let's replace it with one because I think the image itself is too large 
So here it's going to look like this. It's important, by the way, it's important to uh, select images that have the same size. Uh, because if you select images that are different in terms of the size, they could take much bigger space and the, the website is not going to uh, be consistent. Uh, however, you can you can edit the width and height of, uh, of the images using CSS. However, some images would have uh, a better resolution than others and I don't want I don't want that. Therefore it's important to select images that already have same sizes. So this is for the best for, this is for the watches section. And here we have the shoes section. So now we are done with the content with the main content of the website.